Number 35, show that if a coil rotates at an angular velocity of omega, the period of its AC output is going to be 2 pi over omega. So this is kind of a blast from the past a little bit, right? So we have to remember that the angular, and uh, check out, by the way, circular motion, all right, that chapter, all right? Uh, there's a lot of, uh, these formulas come from that chapter. So the angular velocity is going to be a function of 2 pi multiplied by the frequency. But remember that the frequency is just the inverse of the period, so therefore you can cross multiply this if you wanted, and you can realize that the period is then the inverse of the frequency. But we don't really need it that way because I realize that I can take that and plug it into the frequency. So here we're going to have 2 pi now multiplied by 1 over t. In other words, cleaning this up a little bit, it would be 2 pi over then the period. Uh, now what I want to do is basically we got to show that the period, okay? So we just got to solve this for the period and look, just do a little boop, just a little boop, and there we go. The period now is equal to 2 pi over the angular velocity. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. Check out our other thousands of videos out there, even if you're taking camera math. We got a whole bunch coming and statistics probably in the future and a whole bunch of other stuff. All right, take care.